On Massachusetts Avenue in the Back Bay neighborhood of Boston is the only place where you can stand in the center of the world and look into the past. Ever notice how big Greenland is on most maps? Look at this. Look at how big Greenland is. That is insane. That's because maps have a problem. When you take a sphere like the globe and you mash it onto a flat surface, things get a little bit wonky. And even looking at a globe, as the countries fade away from you, they change in size and perspective. Now, if you really, really want to get a perfect view of what the world looks like, there's only one place for you, and that is the map area. Sitting in the Mary Baker Eddy Library is a three-story stained glass globe with a walkway running from the Pacific Ocean to the Indian Ocean going straight through it. And when you walk out into the center and you look at the 600 plus stained glass panels showing you the world in perfect relative scale, things look crazy. Africa is huge. North America and Europe are jammed way up at the top. You have to crane your neck way back just to see them. Greenland, of course, is much smaller, and New Zealand is floating out in the middle of nowhere. Of course, hopefully you only care about the relative size of countries in 1935, because while the scale is all correct, the geography is decidedly out of date. In 1930, Boston architect Chester Lindsay Churchill was hired to design the headquarters of the Christian Science Publishing House, and he had seen the giant globe in the New York Daily News building, but he wanted to do one better. In 1932, he began building the Maparium. It is a place to be immersed in 360 degrees by a beautiful stained glass map. You really get to see the world as it was in 1934. I'm standing at the center of the world, looking out at uh, all of the countries that existed in 1935. Colonialism is in full effect. Africa is divided into huge swaths among the European powers. Don't look for Southeast Asia. It's not there. Instead, you'll find French Indochina. And there are a bunch of countries with strange and unfamiliar names. There was still a Transjordan and a uh, Baluchistan. You ever heard of that place? Panatuba? North Rhodesia, South Rhodesia. The Maparium has another unusual quality. It is an incredible whispering gallery. People having a quiet conversation in India can be heard loud and clear in Mexico. And if you go and stand in the center, you will hear yourself in surround sound. Also, sounds insane in here. It does sound incredible. Because the, the acoustics are constantly being bounced back to you, so you hear your own voice reflected to you a half a second later. You love this, it's like listening to your own voice. I know, it's so great. It's cool, it's really cool. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. Also, everyone knows that the best map projection is Dymaxion. That is just a true fact. Go Bucky!